Howdy, partner. Okay, uh, Harley here. This is a, another EXL that we've gotten our hands on. Um, let's see, it was about a week ago. We were at thrift store, a um, week and a half ago. And they've begun bringing out their fans for the summertime. And we saw this one just kind of chilling there in the corner. I didn't even notice it because it was so dirty. It was completely fuzzy, filthy black. One of the dirtiest fans I've ever seen. Um, it had lint. It had hair. It had cotton, greasy cotton and, and lint packed in the motor. Um, it had long blonde hairs wrapped around the shaft. I don't know why anybody would have their hair near the shaft, but... Um, but yeah, there was uh, plenty of hair wrapped around that shaft. Um, as is par for the course lately, I forgot to take before video. Uh, the reason why is because of the video you've already seen by now of the ill exhaust fan in the window, and also of Spats Bear working on the duct work in the garage ceiling. So basically what I did is I had a folding table that I put over against the garage door and worked on it there so honestly everything was in such disarray I didn't even think to video it but um, yeah I got a little bit of you know bonus speed queen action in the background there um, as you can see it's in really good shape the handle is new um, I yes the old handle was there I just replaced it with this because it was absolutely identical. These handles I got from, I think, Uline. They're for the, uh, you know, the cardboard um, box handles. Um, they're very high grade, very flexible plastic, um, and they work really well. I think either Tori or Bo gave me that idea, one of the two. But anyhow, um, I went ahead and replaced it because I now have like three or four of these, so. The old um, greasy yellow one that I had, I, I did save it, but I replaced it with that just because it's new and it'll probably avoid me accidentally dropping the fan if it were to crack one day. So it's the seven blader with the narrow blades in that sort of baby blue color. Um, let me flip it around here. There is one broken grill slat there that. I was unable to fix because the other piece, which is normally in the bottom of the fan, is not, not in there. But it's got that uh, Robinson Myers motor. Um, of course, it's got the blank here where it would say EXL or Hunter or whatever the case may be. So, uh, I don't know why I just zoomed in on it. I replaced the screws. Other than that, this is as found. Now, the grill on the back was upside down, so the plastic feet were not doing their job. They were just poking up. Um, and the this right here is a little bit chewed up from being on the bottom where it should not have been Also, you'll notice this is a Lakewood switch Not just the knob, but the entire switch um, When I brought it home, I was kind of disappointed right when I uh, started to try it out uh, Because I thought the motor was bad um, Instead of going high medium low It was going high low and then nothing So I thought well crap one of the windings is burnt up in the motor. And then I thought, no, maybe the switch is bad. Well, it was the switch. The switch was bad. So upon trying to repair the switch, I shattered it into a million pieces. Like anyone who's ever worked on one of those, you know, rotary tower switches. Um, and you try to pull the wiring out after you put a, uh, a pick in there to release the clip. Sometimes the wire, when you go to pull it out, it catches inside and just breaks the corner of the switch off. So that happened, surprised me, I dropped it, it shattered, I threw it in the trash can. Um, because I have several of these Lakewood switches, and bonus points, this is a 2.7 amp motor, and that switch is a 3 amp, while the old switch was a 2.7 amp. So it matched exactly, and now we have, you know, what, 300, a few hundred milliamps of wiggle room, so to speak. Alright, here we go, I'm going to shut off the dryer so that... Um, you, it won't be interfering with the noise, and I'm also going to turn off the um, HEPA filter over there in the corner by the litter boxes 
so that um, you won't be hearing that in the background. All right, well, it may cause a little bit of air noise. Damn, that's heavy. But uh, here's high. medium is like a low low on a, say a Lakewood. It's very quiet. About the only thing you hear is a little bit of background wind or air movement and a slight whine of the motor. But what's really trippy is low. I don't know if the camera is going to pick up any wind noise from it, but it's actually still moving quite a bit of air. So you see, <laughs> still moving a ton of air, but it doesn't make any noise at all. Um, I would like to hear noise personally if I'm sleeping or, or just to, to hear that the fan is operating. But if someone were to, to need a silent breeze, well, there you go. It's a silent breeze, all right. Um, so anyway, I'll go back to high and then off, and then I'm going to get a close-up on the startup sound motor. Okay, there's high. And off. All right. Cleaned it up, oiled it up. The front and back grills and the blade all went through the dishwasher behind me. And the cabinet and motor, I took it outside and washed it down really good with um, automotive car wash. And then I sprayed everything out, including the motor. Yes, I hosed out the motor. Um, done it a million times now. Motors through the dishwasher. Motors got the hose. It, it doesn't hurt them as long as you follow a few simple rules. Number one, make sure it doesn't have any kind of paper insulation or anything inside the motor that's going to disintegrate in water. Number two, make sure it's damn dry before you even try to plug it in. Like, put it in front of another fan for at least 24 hours. Um, and number three, remember that that's going to rinse out most of the oil, especially if you use something like car wash or Simple Green like we do. So before you run it, you're going to have to oil it. And you're going to have to let it sit. And you're going to have to oil it again. So, you know, contact us if you need any more info on that. But, um... But yeah, um, you can indeed wash a fan motor. All right, here in a second, we're gonna hear startup sounds. Okay, got a little macro shot action going on there. Okay, this is gonna be from off to high. Okay, now we're going to go from off to low. See how quiet it is? I mean, the, <laughs> the camera is three inches away from the motor. Um, and the microphone actually might be a little closer than that because it's... It's on the trailing edge here, on the leading edge. Alright, and for those of you who have seen our previous update video, you hear Bandy in the background. He tries to help, but he doesn't meow. He just makes, like, strange noises. Alright, now we're going to go from off to medium since low is so quiet. Let's see what medium sounds like. to high. And the fifth spells off. Thank you, 
everybody for watching. Stay tuned for our next video. We're trying to do one a day, so check back tomorrow. Make sure you're subscribed with notifications enabled. Leave your comments below. Have a great day.